I think he will play. I think he was a little emotional after after the loss, which is understandable. Um, I think he's. I think if he does play, it will certainly be his last year. Um, I mean, retiring from the NFL, even as a great, is a very difficult choice to make, especially if you feel at all that you have any football left in you, as as Travis said. Sometimes the game makes a decision for you, obviously. Your body is shutting down. You're dealing with injuries. You're not as fast. You don't have your moves anymore. Maybe the league is not wanting you. They're not, no one's interested in signing you, and, and the decision is made for you. I think if you, in my opinion, if you have football left to play, you do it. Because it, it, you're never going to do that again. Now, that's that's a really personal decision. I remember having this conversation with my brother when he was going to retire about, you know, just the emotions that you're going to go through when you make that decision. That's not a decision that you take lightly. You talk to your wife about it. You talk to your kids about it. You talk to your family about it, obviously. And if it's not made for you, that is a that you're choosing to walk away from something that is truly your identity, which is a very heavy thing to do. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't talk to nobody when I retired. You just made the choice? I just made the choice. Woke up the That's next morning. That's probably smart. Woke up the next morning and said, I'm done. Put in my paperwork. I was done. You know, it, it, what happens to me with guys that say they're going to retire, but they don't put in the paperwork immediately, mm -hmm. tells me they're not retiring yet. Right. Because if you put in your paperwork, your retirement paperwork, as soon as it's over with, you're done. you you start hanging around and, and dealing with the situation. You start feeling like, oh, I can play again. Now, maybe he's emotional, like you said. Me, I was like, but I'm done. I'm done. Put in my paperwork, dog. I'm done. I want to go do something different. Yeah, and that's I, I, you're probably handling it the right way. Sometimes when you get too much feedback, no, I don't need any feedback. I don't to... need my kids talking about keep playing. <laughs> I don't need none of that. I don't need my homies. Box. No, I'm good. I don't. I'm done. It's a very I think it's I think it's it's a very individual decision. Yeah. And if you still feel like you can play or you still want to play, in my opinion, you should because you you're not going to do this again. Yeah, of it course. Is, it's of course. there's no other opportunity in life that's going to be presented like that. So you should get everything out of it. But if you are done, yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Did you have like a time where you were like, oh, I'm done? Like, oh yeah, I was done. So the season was over. <laughs> I was out. Deuces. <laughs> okay. I was I wasn't tripping. I was I balled out that last year. And I went to work at ESPN, and I'm like, I did the draft, and I said, you know what? I don't want to play football anymore. I'm done. You know, the world is so different now, too. When you have so many options, yeah. you have so many opportunities, guys are aware that they're not going to play the sport forever, so you yeah. prepare your businesses, you're involved in other things while you're playing. Obviously, he has a podcast, he has a huge name now, he's people's sexiest guy and all, you know, like, he's got a lot going <laughs> on outside of football and, you know, he's he's already has a name for himself, but, it, but again, all of that is not the NFL. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.